Okay guys, welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. Today we're making the long-awaited homemade butter. I make it in a jar. You can make it with food processor, which would be a lot easier. I don't have one. Uh, there is two kinds of, we're using heavy cream, or whipping cream, whatever you want to call it. This is pasteurized. There's another one called UHT, ultra high temperature. Uh, it's just a different kind of pasteurization. It's normally in a, in a carton or like a box. Don't use that one. It doesn't work or not nearly as good. So we're gonna go about one cup, but however much you put, don't go more than half full of your jar. This expands a lot. If you put this three quarters full, it won't work. Your jar will be too full. Now I'm making salted butter, just a tiny little pinch. You don't need to put salt, in my opinion, it's better. Now, as I'm shaking this, I want a really good seal on this jar. So what I do, this is just a plastic bag from the deli section or from the produce section. I got a big roll of them. I think one roll will last me a lifetime. <laughs> they last, there's a lot of bags on there. Put that over the top, put my lid on, and now it's nice and tight. And that's it, we just gotta shake it. This does take about 15 minutes, and it goes through stages. At first, it's just like shaking milk. This is heavy cream, but you know, it looks like milk. And then it'll turn into whipped cream, and stick to the side. And then it's shake and shake and shake, and nothing happens for what seems like forever. And then it'll break, it'll separate. The butter separates from the buttermilk. And that's when you're done, really. So we'll give this a good shake. And I'll show you the steps as it, uh, as it changes. It doesn't matter how you shake it, as long as you don't really stop, you know, nice steady shake. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> not, not even a little bit, but it's worth the effort. It just got hard. It's whipped cream now, and that happened really fast. Within a minute, I'd say. That can't hear it moving anymore, huh? Let's take a look. You see that? That was really, really fast. That's as yet, actually, for sure. But don't eat this. Salted whipped cream tastes horrible. <laughs> Ask me how I know. It's just starting to break. There's no liquid yet, but it's changed. It's actually dropped. The bottle was three quarters full or more. Now it's dropped back down. It won't be long now and we'll have buttermilk in here. You can hear it moving again. Got it now. You can actually see, I can see anyway, liquid along the edge down here. You know, see how fast that changed. See the water, and the buttermilk.
I said it's done. See that? Now I'm going to uh, strain out the buttermilk and then we'll wash it. Okay, I'm gonna fill the top the bottle back up. This is ice cold water. And we'll strain that out. And we'll get our butter. Here's what she looks like. We'll do a taste test. It's not very much because we only started with one cup, right? And we got about one cup of butter, pretty close. It ain't bad. So we'll do a taste test now. I know it's really good. It's really creamy, really smooth. Okay, let's try it. This is pretty much the only two ways I eat butter anyway. Baked potato. My knife is hot. I'll let that run down into that beautiful, beautiful potato. That'll be good. Now you notice the color of it is white, huh? Not yellow. I can't believe it's not butter, cause it's not. Look at that. It's so different. Like I've been making this now for a few months. And to go back and use store bought, just doesn't even seem fair. <laughs> Ah, that's good, I tell you what. Uh, I'm sure somebody's going to ask how long this will, this will last for, you know, the shelf life. And I have no idea. But I did put some in the fridge for a month. And it was just as good after a month as it was when I made it. Oh man, I cook this potato in the microwave, then I put it on the barbecue over charcoal and uh, toasted it up. Huh? See that? I cooked the toast as well over charcoal. That's so much better. But yeah, I put it in the fridge for a month. I have to store it in the fridge anyway, it's too hot here. You have to remember. This is not going to spoil as per the expiration date on the pack or on this uh, carton because it's not milk anymore. That's good. That's really good. Potato and toast. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's it. Link to the written recipe is in the video description. Not that you're going to need anything. Just a cup of milk and a pinch of salt. Salt is optional. I think it's better. I've tried it both ways. I think it's better without it. I'm sorry, with salt. I think it makes quite a lot of difference. But uh, you know that choice is yours. If you never buy salted butter then maybe that's uh, not something you need. I have seen people make this in a food processor. Or no, not a food processor, a KitchenAid. That would be a lot easier for sure. But this is not hard. I said 15 minutes at the start. I don't think it took 10. And uh, it was done. It just seems like a long time when you're shaking the bottle. <laughs> and you could make, you know, twice as much 
or as much as you want just use a bigger bigger bottle it works just fine all right guys as always thanks for watching i think this is one you should try you won't be sorry that's for sure you won't be buying that i can't believe it's not butter anymore Wanna try good yeah <laughs>